So there are a lot of hidden features in the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, and we're going to show you some of those features. Some of them have been there before, and some of them are new. First off is basically rotating your device into landscape mode in any app or setting. And this is something that you might think is there, but it wasn't actually there before. All you have to do is long press the home screen, go to home screen settings, and make sure you uncheck portrait mode only, because it's actually checked, because if it's checked, you can't do it. You can't rotate to, to landscape, so you want to go ahead Go back to home screen settings and then uncheck that option and boom, you have it right there. So nice and simple, very easy, great for landscape uh, applications like Netflix when you want to go ahead and check a few other things. Now, if you go into our settings and go into sounds and, and, and vibrations uh, and go into sound quality and effects, you can see Dolby Atmos. That's actually not selected when you get to device. You want to make sure you check that because you've got Dolby Atmos speakers on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Now, the app uh, Adapt Sound allows you to do something that's really cool. It's been there before, but it helps you tune your listening experience. Now, if you've got cheaper headphones, you're hard in hearing, but you just want to get the best audio quality, this helps you tune it. it, it uh, you plug in your headphones and you listen to different sounds at different frequencies to match it to basically tune your music the right way for you and trust me this is very very useful on the galaxy s9 and s9 plus now the next option here is you can see the little icons on the app screen right there it's very simple to so basically go ahead and and um do a few more things with that. I'm going to show you in a second. We're going to go out here and we're going to notifications. And in notifications, we want to click on the app icon badge. There you can actually show number or you can also show just the icon itself. The other thing is also you can show notifications and this gives you more features when you long press. So once you basically activate that, I'm just going to go ahead and activate it and I'm just tapping around there. But once you tap on that and you go into your applications and say you go into an app like my email, you can now see it shows me the different emails I can compose from also shows me an email. So there's extra uh, steps in there. Something very simple. I can look at the notifications from Twitter. Uh, same thing with um, my messenger uh, as well as also any other different apps that allow notifications. I can go ahead, long press, and I can even swipe out of that notification directly from the app. Now, we don't have a physical button. We have, have a touch capacitive home button, but you might not like the sensitivity. Now, this is a feature that was there last year. Again, something most people don't know about, but you want to go into display and you want to scroll down to navigation bar. Here, you can change the background color of the navigation bar at the bottom, different light color hues. You can go ahead and set whatever you want. You can also go change the pressure sensitivity. You can move it from lighter, stronger, or you can do a pressure test to see what fits and feels more comfortable for you. Again, making it uh, more comfortable in your daily use. Again, a nice simple feature if you need that option on your S9 or S9 Plus. Now, apps like WhatsApp or messaging apps only allow a single user, but you want to have a dual app setup. Maybe you have multiple phones, multiple numbers, whatever the case may be. If you go into advanced features and scroll down into dual messenger, you can select a uh, dual messenger for say like WhatsApp, which is kind of difficult because you only have to register your number. Once you click on that, it installs a second copy of WhatsApp and boom, right there. Simple feature. Again, this was there last year, but this is also available right now on the S9 and S9 Plus. Now, as we move over into accessibility settings, this one is pretty cool. Uh, the different things for dexterity, interaction, uh, vision, hearing, a lot of nice little uh, accessibility settings there. But one that's pretty cool is actually hearing, allowing you to set up sound detectors for either the doorbell or baby crying. I don't know why you need that if you're not around your baby, but you want to place this kind of close enough and it will ring or vibrate. In my case, I, my phone's still on vibrate, but I'm going to play a baby sound and you guys can take a quick listen of the baby crying and it detecting it. That was pretty interesting, but a few more features you will find uh, in advanced features. Uh, of course, you've got things like the fingerprint sensor pressure, uh, gesture, sorry, which have uh, been there in the past. You can swipe down the notification bar, which is pretty cool. Uh, you've got a quick launch on the camera, so you want to just double tap the camera and that will the power button that will access the camera for you. 
uh, other smart features that you can go through, really nice and simple ones. Uh, one-handed uh, mode, so you can go ahead and create that one-handed mode uh, with gestures, you double tap the home button or not. But let's be honest, Bixby is the fastest way to get a lot of things on your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Say the command and it will take you directly to where the command is. Just remember that, uh, this is something that, that's what Bixby is built for and I like that the feature is actually there um, and it's been improving. So you can talk about feature, even if he doesn't know exactly it will take you close to the settings. I want to adapt sound, which is basically the sound tuning tool. And it took me directly to sound quality and effects, and I can select adapt sound. So again, if you can't find some of these features, just use Bigsby and it will take you directly there. So I do like that. But one of the things is the new Smart Things app, which is now built into your Galaxy um, uh, S9, S9 Plus. Uh, you can activate the app, but once you do, uh, it's in your app tray. It allows you to basically just, it, it's like a, now a repository of all things connected to your device. So I have my headphones, there's a TV, which can use a, as a remote control. I also have, I, I can add in all the smart devices I have. I can set in scenes, automations, you name it. But it's really simple and easy tool to do that as well, uh, which is nice. You can see when I drop down the menu, the thermostat was there, that was added already. I can change my thermostat controls directly from there. So smart things, we will delve into smart things later on to see some of the new functionality, but it seems that it's more seamless, better looking app, and also a uh, better looking functionality that's kind of tied in and built into your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. So guys, that's it. If you have any more questions or any comments, let me know. Try and answer them for you. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, check out more content on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. We have them in a uh, playlist for you and uh, we'll be giving our review shortly, pretty soon. So stay tuned and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.